Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we're gonna learn what is static data member. So let's get started. Today we will take an example of a class. We will name it message and then we will just declare two function in the message first we will define a static member then we will declare two function the first will be you can say we will we will declare a display message first and then we will just type a show message so the display message will display any number and this static member will count how many times the display function is called and the show will show the number of total times the function is called so let's see the example as I said, first we have to create a class, so our basic two header files which we always include. Now as I said, we will declare a class message. So we will write, name it msg. And in that we will declare a static member function to count the number of time a function is called. So to call a static member function, the syntax is the keyword static, then the data type so he will write the integer data type and then the name of the variable we will use m and now in public section we will first write the display message so we will in our display function we will just simply write c out we can write hello before the beginning of the message we will write slash n so that it will get printed in a new line and here we will increment the m plus plus you can also write m is equal to m plus one it just doesn't matter it will do the same thing now we will ask what is the difference between a simple variable and a static variable so the main property of static variable is that it will not change whatsoever once it is called so for example if the function is called one time it will become one then if it's called second time if it was a simple variable then it will again start from one because of it's a static member this will get two second we will write a function how many number of times the function is called so we will directly write c out number of times number of time function called is and then we will close our message and concat our m i will close this function also and we will print this in, in new line so we will write slash n now we can close our main class which is message so because it's a static member you have to declare it like a function outside of the class so first we will write the return data type which we have declared integer here so we will write integer integer then the name of the class which is message here so msg scope resolution and after that write the variable which is m here and close it with semicolon now as usual we will write our main function so in the main function what we will do we will create three four object and we will call the display function three four times and then we will see whether the static member is working or not so what we will do to declare object use the name of the class we will declare a b c d and e so I have declared 5 objects here and clear the screen. Now we will call the display function for each of these. So a dot disp, then b dot disp, then c dot disp, then d dot disp. This is the easiest example you can find to understand the concept of static member. And now the last we will call our show function so that it will show how many number of times the display function is called. So we will write, you can use any of the object a dot show now we will write the get cs to hold the screen for output and then close our main void main let's run the program you can see there is an error member function must be called or its address taken you have to provide the bracket open and close symbol i forgot to do that we will run the program once again no error you can see the display function is called five times we have printed hello five times and then the last the show is called which said that the number of time function called is five now we will see what if it is a simple variable so if we remove this static and if we remove this one just try double backslash and now we'll run the program you, you can see the output is garbage value so for this you have to use a static member 
so that you can easily count the number you can use this in different programs so again we will do write the static in m and then we will remove this you can see the program is perfectly fine so this is how you can use the concept of static member if you want more program you can comment down below i i can include more complicated example but the video go long i try to keep the video as short as possible if you like the video please press the like button if, if you have any suggestion error query or comment please comment down below subscribe for more bye